Greetings to all my YouTube viewers and thanks for all your subscriptions. Your honest reviews and remarkable comments drives me to do more videos. Thank you all. Uh, we all know that August 23rd Chandrayaan 3 is going to undergo a soft landing on the moon. Whole India is waiting for this mission to be accomplished. And thanks to the social media and the news channels which are giving us more knowledge on this Chandrayaan 3 and the entire India irrespective of any occupation, we are all awaiting anxiously to celebrate this event. Definitely there is going to be a soft landing of Chandrayaan 3 on the moon surface because the recent news had published that they had experimented earlier by using a sand which was taken from Tamil Nadu Namakal district and the sand was similar to the sa mineral sands available on the moon. So this sand was composed of some water, frozen water and uh, the elements which were compared to that of the moon. Uh, usually we used to like bu buy the sand from NASA for 15,000 rupees for 1 kg. But this time ISRO had taken the sand collection, sand samples from Namakal district and they had experimented earlier on this Chandrayaan 3. They had spread the sand and made this lander and rover to how to have a soft landing. So I am very sure and all of us are pretty sure that this is going to be a greatest achievement that once this Chandrayaan 3 lands onto the moon surface, India is going to be ranked the fourth country to successfully accomplish the uh, satellite reaching the moon surface. Let Secondly, the Luna 25 was Russia's satellite which was again competed with Chandrayaan 3. Entire globally, entire world was watching that there were two satellites going to the surface of the moon and which is going to land first. Chandrayaan 3 was expected on August 23rd but then Luna 25 which was a Russian satellite from Roscosmos, they said that it is going to land before Chandrayaan 3. When, when, when there was a, a little kind of competition between Russia and India, unfortunately on August 20, the Russian satellite Luna 25 had crashed onto the moon. In August 19th itself, by 2.45 p.m., the Roscosmos, the Roscosmos is nothing but a Russian satellite observatory center where they lost connection with this Luna 25. Luna 25 was found to, it was like you no know, derailing from its orbit. We say a train derailing from the track. Similarly, this had deorbited. It had gone into the another orbit that it underwent a very harsh landing onto the moon surface and now it is not existing. Luna 25 was a failure for the Russia. Now, all the entire world is now expecting about the Chandrayaan 3's successful attempt to land onto the moon surface. Moreover, Luna 25 was supposed to be landing on the south pole of the moon because only in the south pole of the moon, the craters on the moon was containing some frozen water and to test about the, uh, uh, and to have an analysis about these water locations and the elements, minerals present, this uh, Luna 25 was actually being propelled, but unfortunately it had crashed onto the moon surface. Now this, uh, some, of, some of them were asking me why it is taking such a long time, a month time to for any satellite to reach the moon's uh, surface. It is mainly because it is not a like direct movement from earth to the moon. It is not like that. Once the satellite reaches the moon, it has to undergo millions and millions of you know orbital revolution around the moon. So after it reaches the first orbital trajectory, the the satellite had to undergo revolutions. We have something called like first orbital insertion, second orbital insertion and third stage orbital insertion which we are now following up with Chandrayaan 3. So it is not like how they showed in the uh, uh, the rocketry movie. Now we have some nice movies of this rocketry and thanks to the Indian movies that they had given us some clear picture. Mangalyan movie actually shows how the satellite enters the moon's orbit and they keep there they showed about the uh, satellite just like you know revolving around the mars planet so that was a uh, mangalyan mission but uh, similarly it is not a direct invading of any satellite onto the moon before it just goes it has to undergo revolution multiple times multiple times so initial first orbital insertion will be like only in 47000 you know and into some orbital 
path next it has to reach some 70000 km so much see the distance from earth to moon itself is like 3 billion time 3 billion kilometers you know that the satellite has to travel and then it cannot directly go and land on the moon before landing on the moon you have multiple revolutions that is where the uh, uh, space researchers study on the at my geo geographical conditions of the moon and in what speed it has to go and land and what are the geographical catastrophical changes happening there so before landing onto the moon there is multiple calculations been done and then the space researchers give the satellite give the control to the satellite for the soft landing this is how it is done and uh, so in your future if we see people are also interested about knowing about the moon so maybe in next 20 25 years we are going to have satellites economical satellites which are going to take humans from the earth and maybe we are going to spend our winter or summer vacation there on the moon days are gone when people used to only travel in the uh, are inside the country or inside different states for vacation now if you see more than the railway tickets and the bus tickets tickets flight tickets are like very in so much in demand especially during the vacation time visa processing every time there is a long waiting queue for visa appointments because people want to travel across globally from country to country in near future people will be liking to travel from country to moon from earth to moon it is also going to be uh, very possible in near future so uh, when people are going to like invade the moon for vacation then the space debris on the moon for example russia had said that there is 7000 uh, you know 7000 uh, what to say missionary objects still floating around the uh, space maybe we are going to in future talk about sustainability in the space debris also how we talk about sustainability and degradable products and how the how we are going to protect our environment environmental studies is playing a major role now in our live livelihood similarly we are going to talk about sustainability in moon also in near future so these are all different significant the uh, ideas which i wanted to give about the space with this note i'm signing off let us all meet again after the successful celebration of chandrayaan 3 which is been which is going to softly land onto the moon surface thank you all